Hi, my name is Jillian Gunther. I'm one of the faculty at MD Anderson Cancer Center, and I'm here to present COVID era medical student education, creation and implementation of an informal virtual elective in radiation oncology. I think most of this audience knows that due to COVID-19, most 2020 med student away electives were canceled. And this really hindered the ability of med students to one, explore smaller subspecialties like Red Onc, but also to evaluate potential future residency training programs. At MD Anderson Cancer Center, we were not able to offer a credit granting virtual elective, and therefore we created and assessed the feasibility and efficacy of an informal virtual elective. To do this, we created a series of virtual activities to replace the on-site elective rotation, and this included um, inviting med students to our morning resident didactics, a weekly lecture series with faculty that ran from August through October, uh, assigning med students, both resident and faculty mentors, inviting med students to give a 15 minute presentation to our department, and also scheduling some casual question and answer sessions with residents and faculty. All of the components uh, were offered to students who were previously interested in rotating through on our on-site elective. All of the activities were optional, obviously, as no credit was given. And students were reassured that participation would have absolutely no impact on their future chances of match. Uh, we sent out both pre and post IBE surveys in the summer and fall of 2020 that included uh, questions, including Likert type scale and also importance ordering and open response. For our results, we had 27 students who were invited to participate. A median of 11 students attended the weekly lectures and informational sessions. On both the pre and post IBE surveys, med students preferred strongly uh, traditional formal on-site away electives. We also learned that during 2020, students reported participating mainly in their home on-site elective, about 70% of the students. We asked the students their impressions of the benefit of the IBE, both before and after participation. And what we found is that med students really highly valued the social aspects of the IBE the interaction with faculty and residents, as well as networking opportunities. We also asked med students uh, their, their impression of the value of the individual IBE components, both before and after participation. Um, overall, med students reported that the IBE did give an adequate introduction to radiation oncology at MD Anderson. In terms of qualitative feedback, we learned that students appreciated the educational opportunities and introduction to MD Anderson and Rad Onc, um, as well as the interaction with faculty and residents. They suggested improvements, including adding the option for formal credit, scheduling activities outside of clinic hours, and also uh, requested additional incorporation of more description of research opportunities at MD Anderson. In conclusion, IVEs can be successfully implemented to both provide experience with certain medical subspecialties as well as provide exposure to specific training programs. Med students did participate despite conflicting responsibilities and lack of credit. Traditional formal onsite away electives are still preferred. IVEs could be used to widen exposure to small subspecialties even post COVID. And given the downtrend in popularity, RO training programs should be creative in finding new and innovative methods to expose med students to Rad Onc. So with that, I'd just like to thank the amazing Rad Onc education team at MD Anderson, and of course, our fantastic group of medical students who were with us this year um, for this informal virtual elective. Thank you.